Skyblock Thunder on Prime MC. Now, guys, it is Thanksgiving today, so happy Thanksgiving to you all. But anyways, today, what I'm actually going to be doing is, well, you guys know I built this uh, little pumpkin over here for um, Halloween. Well, I'm actually going to be going ahead and doing a turkey pixel art for Thanksgiving, just because I thought it would be nice if we could have just a little arrangement of, like, all the holidays down here. I don't know. I just thought that would be pretty cool. But also, another thing that uh, at first I was a little confused about, but then I read a book um, that someone put into my hoppers, and it made sense. But someone actually donated me all of this stuff. So two chicken spawners, a pig spawner, three stacks of golden gods, 24 emeralds, three vote keys, 27 obsidian, and 61 golden apple. And um, I at first I was kind of confused. Because it was all in my Iron Golem profit shop. I mean, not, not pro it's not a profit shop, never mind. In my Iron Golem um, chests, I mean. But then I found this book in there. And uh, it says right here, Hey, I should let you know that I dropped some spawners and some money to help out your series. I don't play on Thunder, but I do play on Earth. So I would really appreciate it if you could just look at my island sometime in a vid. And sorry that, it, that the stuff is in your IG farm. But you didn't have a donation, so that might be a good idea to set up. P.S. Could you donate something on SB Earth? See ya. Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick Smith, I, I, I know how to pronounce that, sorry dude, but I will actually go ahead and give that guy all my Vokies and FSB Earth after I'm done recording this, but yo, I mean, this is a crap ton of stuff, I mean, 61 golden apples and 3 Vokies, which I already had 3 from voting, so we can actually go ahead and open 6 today, and the spawners, I could actually, I actually am going to use those, because this episode, I wanted to actually go ahead and and get um a zombie uh, grinder going because apparently rotten flesh actually gets you a lot of money and zombies I, I i think zombies give you more rotten flesh than zombie pigmen because zombie pigmen also drop the gold uh the gold nuggets as well i i know that for sure but humongous shout out to rijk smith is what i'm gonna call him for now but yes yeah, so let me go ahead i'm gonna slash block the gold and the emeralds i'm gonna go put uh, whatever I have left, these three golden gods and those six emeralds in there for now. I'm going to go ahead, run down here, and add these. Hopefully, hopefully this gets my island level up by a bit, because at the moment, it honestly isn't that high. It's only 679, so I, would, so I really do appreciate all this gold, but okay, there we go. But before we get to the grinder, the pixel art, or any of that, I do have these six voting keys to open. So let's go warp over to crates. If we could get some more spawners... That would really make me happy because I'd be able to make a bigger uh, zombie farm already, which would be pretty sick. But, okay, let's go with, oh, wait, no, a little bit of lag there. Uh, let's go with our first voting crate key then. And, okay, it doesn't look like there's a spawner in this one. But there is some money, and I will take the money. Um, I'm actually just going to close out. Well, actually, no, I won't. There, there, there are some diamonds and some money and some gold in there. So I'll just wait this one out and see what I can get. So come on. Did I... Did it land on the diamonds or okay, okay no, it's still going. Um, come on, I I don't, I don't want that cobblestone, man. Just land on the money for me, please. Come on. Uh, I the same thing happened to me on prison. I'm just closing out. Uh, oh, okay, eight diamonds. Well, I will definitely go ahead take that. I'm actually gonna sell these because I don't have that much money right now. So I mean, anything will help. And I eight eight isn't enough to make a diamond block to add to my island. But let's go with our second voting crate key and. I, I don't know why it's taking so long. Like, I had that same glitch on prison where it would just keep going. So I'm just going to see if it happens to this one. If it does, then I'm just going to start opening and closing instantly. And, yeah, it looks like it is. So let me go close out two golden. Are you kidding me? I just got 61 from a donation. I don't need two, especially since they're unenchanted. Here, y you can take these. You don't have any armor, so but those hopefully those will do you good. But let's go with our third one. And, okay, oh, there's a spawner in this one. Okay, this I'm actually going to wait out because there's some pretty good stuff in here. There's two spawners, two banknotes, and eight emeralds. Uh, five sheep eggs is okay. The only thing I don't want in here is that enchanted diamond helmet because I have Kit Elite and Kit Myth every day, so I really, really do not need that. But come on, land on that spawner for me. Oh, uh, no, it's not going to be the spawner. Wait, is it? Could it? Dang it. Hold on. Come on. Get, the, get, get that spawner. Just land on the spawner. Oh, oh wait, did we get a spawner? 
Yes, we got a spawner. Okay, pig spawner. I didn't notice that for some reason because oh well. Oh wait, it went um into or well, it stacked with the other pig spawner. Okay, we now have four spawners. That's four zombie spawners that we can already make. So let's go with our next voting crate key and uh, be gonna open. Hey, hello. Okay, well, for some reason, I just double-clicked on the voting crate, and it automatically opens, and I got 25 MCMO and 5 cow eggs, so the MCMO I'll take, and I'll actually also take the cow eggs. I mean, right now, I, I'm i I'm actually pretty rich on spawn eggs. I mean, I have all these in here, and then I have even more in some of my other player vaults, but I'm not going to go, like, searching through that for other ones right now, but let's go with our last voting crate key. Not really anything too good in here. There isn't a spawn or any of that. But there is some MCMO. Can I get that? I really... I mean, MCMO right now would really help out. Because my uh, my swords level, actually, and my axe level aren't really that high. And I guess I guess herbalism would also help. And um, what's that other one? Brewing? Is... I... I think there was one for brewing, but okay, this is taking too long. I'm just closing out. And it's, okay, there we go. 10 MCMO. So... That's not enough that I want to add anything to uh, any of my skills right now, but I will go ahead and take that. And uh, when I logged on, I don't think there was anything in my mailbox, so I'm just going to skip right by that, but uh, yeah. But anyways, Island of the Day is slash IS Warp Dub Stabber, and um, yeah, I think I, did I, no, I didn't already review this guy's on. For some reason, the name sounded familiar. I mean, I know this guy in game. He's one of my friends, but uh, I, I I guess I didn't review his island. So let's just go ahead and see what he has here. So looks like he actually did. I see a lot of people doing this nowadays because I mean, I just like they'll just have a normal island and they'll have this like little cool little um mine shaft area, which I really like when people do that. I might actually make one on my island and uh, I could put like spawners down here. I think that would be pretty cool, but uh, not this episode. And let's see, is there anything down here? Mining area. Well, we got some free ores, but I don't, I don't really need um coal or uh, lapis. Let's just go throw that out for now, and uh, let's go back up here. What else do we ha does he have? So the spawn, I, I, I can't remember if you spawn out with this tree or if he actually made that. I mean, if he made that, then the, holy crap. But if he didn't make that, then it still it still looks really cool. It's like a centerpiece of his island. And let's see what's down here. Okay, it doesn't actually really look like um, there's anything down here. And actually, oh, that guy that gave me stuff is messaging me. Hold on, I'm gonna say yeah, I'm recording right now because I don't because I don't. As I said, normally um, I don't message people when I'm recording, but so I, there there are some instances where I don't just want to straight out ignore them. And uh, let's see, is there? Oh, oh yeah, there's spawners down here. I think I, I think I remember this. Yeah, like, he, he wanted to show me, um, how many spawners he had, and, uh, yeah, so he has a little bit of a grinder down here, and he actually has, oh, oh, free rotten flesh, actually, no, I'm not gonna steal that, you, you can have it, it's yours, and, uh, looks like these baby ones aren't actually dying, I'll, I'll help out with that, rest in peace, baby zombie pigmen, but, okay, so is there anything down here, oh, is this a profit shop, okay, no, doesn't look like it, but, uh, I, I guess that's just, like, where he's everything so he doesn't have a profit shop but okay gg dude so it looks like something down here is actually being made so i'm interested i'm curious to see what that'll actually be but overall good island dude let's just get to the build this episode actually i feel like i'd be kind of mean not to review this guy's island especially since he just asked me so we're, we're doing two today guys let's go so let's go to is warp rijk smith and uh let's see what he has so oh it's actually pretty nice, dude. I really like what he did here. And uh, this is a profit shop? Oh, it is a profit shop. Okay, so I guess I can... I don't actually... I don't think I even have enough money to. I mean, I don't play on here at all. But uh, he was just on SP Thunder. I don't know if he's getting back on here, though. Now, what's this? Golem Spawner. Up. Okay, so I guess this leads up to, like, the Iron Golem Spawner. And, oh, no, I just realized I don't have Slash Fly on here. So I, I literally have to walk up all these steps just to see the Iron Golem farm. But, okay, and whoa... Dude, nice! What the heck? He has like freaking 400. Okay. Well, this guy seems like he's pretty much got it made on here. Let's go ahead. I'm, I I know I'm wasting a gapple, but I don't want to take fall damage, guys, and end up dying from that. But okay. So, what does he have down here? Is there is there any way I can donate these vote keys to him? Because I mean, I really want to do that. I want to like return the favor to him. I mean, he gave me so much stuff. But uh, what's this? Private. Okay. Yes, I can't go back there. Uh, he's got a zombie pigment farm with, like, 
400 other spawners. So no, here, here you are. Hey, dude, I, you, you can have these. These are yours now. That's, that's really all I have. Sorry, I, I, I don't have much else. But oh, whoa, well, I, I, I didn't think there was. I thought there was glass there, but okay. So he has um a little bit of a um profit shop down here as well. And, um, I don't think I really saw much else. If I did, then sorry, but it's really, it's honestly really hard without Slash Fly. But let's just get back on Thunder and start with the build, man. Alright, so actually, I just decided I'm gonna add the zombie spawners in here. Just because, well, I removed the Blaze one, because honestly, a lone Blaze spawner in a zombie pigman and zombie farm, I, I, I don't know, I might, I might do something for that once I get a few more Blaze spawners, because just one isn't really gonna get us too much experience or any of that, but, um, I'm just gonna actually go ahead and add these in here. I guess I might want to change this to a normal zombie face or something like that, I don't know, but for now I'm just keeping it like that. Let's go ahead, slash spawner, I believe it's 200k to change it to... A zombie. Let me see here. Where where zombie at? Okay, yeah, two hundred k. What's what zombie pigment? Oh, oh, I can do pig zombie for the same price. Okay, let me actually check this for for um chicken spawner because normally, well, sometimes it'll actually be more expensive for different types of spawners. And uh, oh, okay, so it's still two hundred k. I guess. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna have to go with the pig zombie, I guess. I'll just I'll just keep I'll just keep everything uh nether like in here, you know. Like I'll I'll make a zombie spawner some other day. But okay, let's go ahead change those all. We now have 30k guys. We are so poor right now, but it, it was worth it for these extra three zombie pigmen spawners we got. Let's go spawn those. And uh, okay, already 13 of them down here. Now I still haven't really figured out how I'm gonna kill these guys yet because. Water doesn't hurt them, and lava doesn't hurt them, and I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if I could do like some cactus thing or something like that. But for now, as I said last episode, I'm just keeping this kind of like a public grinder. So if you want to come here and grind while you can, then feel free to. But let's just get on with the next.
been our last one. I mean, the body I was trying to make about the size of this pumpkin, and that ended up being a little bit bigger, but you know, that's fine. I think I might actually make the tail feathers, um, I, I, I either might make more of them, or I might just make them bigger, but you know, I honestly think this looks pretty good for now, but anyways, I'm gonna go and wrap up this video here, if you guys have a slam button, like button down, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next one.